What do Igbo mothers do when their big in law, Nukwogo, calls them to say, Mama, I am on my way to your house right now. You can't say no to such an August visitor this August. Neither will you serve him a supper meal. Ofensala to the rescue. Ofensala is by far the quickest and the easiest Igbo soup to prepare. If you do not know how to prepare Ofensala, it means that nobody has shown you how. I am showing you how now. You will need correct catfish. Azundo. Azundo literally means fish that is still alive and kicking look at them swimming around so you run off to the market after getting that all-important phone call and point at one fish and they will kill it for you point and kill anyone catfish is easier for lokwabobu which means the main the main ingredient in offense salad offense salad that you do not use catfish to prepare is that one offense salad mba no if you live in nigeria Please do not, I repeat, do not use any other fish for offense salad. You are only allowed to use another fish if you live outside Nigeria and you can't buy catfish where you live. In that case, you can use conga eel. I gave conga eel a 9 out of 10 as a catfish alternative in my Nigerian ingredients alternatives video. Make sure you watch that video to hear everything I said about using conga eel before you cook the soup. The link to the video will pop up right now and it's clickable. Test if the link works. Don't be shy. Here are the other ingredients you will need. Otaze. This is a bitter heart-shaped leaf. This is not okaze. It is not okaze. It is not oziza either. Otaze. Seasoning cubes, crayfish, the catfish, the chairman of the meeting, ogiri obey. You saw me buy this at the market in my previous market video. If you want to learn about Nigerian ingredients in detail, you need to be watching every single follow me to market video that I put out. That is where I share random useful information, including the ones I learned right there in the market about the ingredients I use in my videos, especially the traditional ones. Habanero pepper and white pina yam, which is the thickener for the offense salad. First, pour boiling water on the pieces of catfish. This does two things. One, the hot water removes the slime from the catfish. And two, the hot water shocks the pieces of fish and toughens them, making it harder for them to disintegrate while you are cooking the soup. As soon as you pour the hot water on the fish, you will see the slime turn white. And can you see the fish coiling up? That's the shock of the hot water which toughens it. Everything I tell you in my videos is true. You just need to pay attention to these little things and you will see them yourself. Quickly rinse off the slime with cool water. Do not leave the catfish sitting in the pool of hot water for longer than necessary. When done, put them in the pot, add seasoning cubes, the pieces of yam which you must have peeled and cut earlier, pour water to just under the level of the fish and start cooking. Pound the habanero pepper, ogiri obey, crayfish, and chopped otazi in a mortar. Mm. 
The aim here is to give the ingredients a rough pound. They shouldn't be smooth. If you're using a blender, ensure that you don't blend till smooth, else the soup will look bleh, like pieces of fish sitting in a pool of muddy water. Mbao! You see what it looks like? Yeah! Keep an eye on the pot! And once the pieces of yam are soft, take them out. Add the pounded ingredients and continue cooking. Crush the yam in a mortar exactly the same way you should smash the like button on this video. Have you liked this video yet? Have you? You don't want to have the best in law in your family? Please like! <laughs> then use all your energy to make the yam smooth and stretchy. Add to the offense salad in small lumps. Cover and once the yam dissolves, it's done! Add salt if necessary and that's it! So, so easy. Serve this to your in-law with pounded yam. Yes, Ofen Salah is always, always served with pounded yam. Happy in-law, happy life. If you need my express permission for any other fufu meal, you can serve this with. Let me know in the comments. Bye-bye. See you soon.